Well, direct action will lower the globe's temperature by about as much as Labor's carbon tax would have, which is to say not very much at all because Australia makes up a very tiny proportion of the globe's emissions. On the positive side of direct action, it will certainly do less damage to the Australian economy than the carbon tax would have. And it does have the advantage that if the government does change its mind, it can be switched off relatively easily. On the negative side, though, I worry that it encourages business to think of government as a customer or a source of finance. Now, earlier this year, the Abbott government made, in my view, an excellent decision to refuse a bailout to Qantas. But Qantas has recently said that they'll be seeking funds through the Emissions Reduction Fund to buy a whole new fleet of planes that are more energy efficient. Uh, it will be quite ironic if the government if re refused a bailout for Qantas for jobs, but turned around and gave them a bailout for the environment. Um, this is the kind of you know, industrial scale rent seeking that these kinds of policies encourage, and that's very damaging.